What's going on, fam? It's the entertainer, the motivator, the educator, Lecky Murray. Back another game caught news update today. We're talking about Marcus Statterfield and Jason Brown as being the number one on the death chart as of right now. Since Luke Do- Doty is hurt, we're gonna talk a little bit about that. Before we go any further, man, here's what I need you to do: one of three things. One, like the channel. The season's about to get cracking. Lucky Murray's about to get cracking, lacking with this game cock news. So please write that down in the comment section below. Uh, like the video, excuse me. Two, subscribe to the channel because seventy-five percent of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. Hit notification bell, notification bell. I know every time I drop a video. And three, share the video. It helps out a ton. So we're gonna sit here. We're gonna talk. About what Marcus Datafield said about Jason Brown and the quarterback uh, situation at South Carolina, and we're going to come back. I'm gonna let you know exactly what I, what I think of this man. What can you share with us with where Luke's at right now and and what's he what he's able to do? Uh, he's got a big smile. I just had lunch with him. He's got a big smile on his face. Uh, you know, he's working uh, relentlessly every day, all day, to uh, get back as soon as he can. I mean, we got to make sure that. Everything is where it needs to be when he gets back, just so it doesn't linger. Uh, but uh, he's in good spirits. He meets with us. Uh, he hasn't missed you know position meetings or anything, so he's right on schedule with the installation situations. He watches practice. He's been a great uh, teammate, and uh, he just keeps doing what he's always done. And it's just being you know an elite human, elite teammate, and just there to help. So he's he's moving along. And what have you seen from Jason? And the time that he's had uh, to step up. I think Jason's stepped up, and I think that uh, you know he looks totally different than he did. Uh, you know, at the end of spring, I think, you know, if you look at Jason's body, the, the work and commitment he put in to change his body, uh, the summer he had, I thought he had a wonderful summer. He's uh, allowed himself to uh, have a little bit more mobility than he's ever had in his life. So you see him start to extend plays and uh, create plays and did that a couple times a day in two minutes. So uh, we're really pleased with where he's going and he's got a really, really good mindset right now and he's at a good place. Uh, Marcus, in terms of Zeb and getting him in, in the in the quarterback room, like what is kind of the plan for him in terms of getting him up to speed, and how, how do you kind of work through that with adding a guy at you know a couple of weeks short of the opener? Well, the good thing is he basically him and uh, you know Danny Gordon, another former quarterback here, uh, they did our playbook this summer. So Zeb's got to be one of the first guys who's gonna be playing football who actually drew all the passes up in the playbook on the computer. So uh, he's a coach's kid and he's really really smart, has high football intelligence. So. He already knows our offense, and uh, he's he's been around the block, uh, you know, a time or two, and he's uh, got the experience, and and he's he's calloused up. So uh, it's not been a really huge transition. It's just a matter of instead of standing out there telling, uh, he's working with the wideouts, telling the wideouts where to line up and what routes to run. He's in the huddle, calling a play now, and and throwing the ball to him. Uh, he uh, would sit in the quarterback meetings every now and then with me, and but he was working with Coach Step and the receivers just because his knowledge of the passing game and be able to have two minds in there and be able to, you know, with a lot of receivers, you want to have two guys that can do that. So, uh, you know, he's really not skipped a beat. So here's the thing. Here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. I, I want you to understand this. We, we're we're kind of in a crazy uh, situation right now. Zip Nolan was the graduate assistant coach. Uh, it's now on the Carolina roster because our depth chart at quarterback is crazy low. Luke Doty hurt his foot a week ago. Jason Brown ascended on the depth chart. He was number three a few weeks ago, guys. He is now number one. And Colton Gaithier and Connor Jordan are in the mix. Everybody is in the mix, including the carry on Jonah, DK, as they like to call it. Here's what I, I think of, of the situation. One, man, you got to be ready to play. Jason Brown, we've been talking about Jason Brown starting since the summer, since the winter, excuse me, guys, since the winter, since he transferred to South Carolina. We've been talking about that. So it's no surprise that he gets his opportunity. Now, granted, it's because of Luke Doty and the injury bug. So we're not trying to say that we want Luke Doty hurt. But if a guy gets injured, here's the situation. Next man up. So 
I believe they've been talking a lot about the carry on Jonah. They've been talking a lot about EJ Jenkins. So I believe that Jason Brown is going to come up and show up because this is last opportunity, guys. He cannot play no more college football after this year. He either has to go to the league or find profession elsewhere in the football landscape. And it's not a whole lot of opportunities outside of the NFL. So Jason Brown is hungry to show and to let people know, look, just because I went to St. Francis, I am a Division I SEC quarterback. Hey, man, listen, I love it. Zeb Nolan, I don't understand what's going on, but a lot of people talk about him. If we have to transition our graduate assistant who was during the summer coming up with the playbook, writing out the plays to actually being a quarterback, you know we in trouble. So here's what I need you to do, man. I need you to let me know exactly what you think about this in the comment section below. Yes, Jason Brown is our perceived quarterback number one going into the first game of the season if Luke Doty is not healthy, which presumably he is not. Yes, I probably said the word wrong. It's okay, people. Let me just think about the comment section below. Get us the entertainer, motivated, educator, lucky Murray back with another game Gamecock news update. And then, yes, sir. Gamecocks, stand up. Stand up, Garnick and Black. The season is coming along. Hey, man, I hope you're going out to week zero, tomorrow, week zero of high school football, and we get to go to the games. Hey, man, let me know what you think about that in the comment section below. But like always, it's the next time, people.